A bearing is a machine element that constant relative motion to only the desired motion and reduce friction between moving parts. The design of the bearing may, for example, provide for free linear movement of the moving parts or for free rotation around a fixed axis or it may prevent a motion by controlling the vectors of normal forces that bear on the moving parts. Most bearings facilities are desired motion by minimizing friction. Bearings are classified broadly according to the type of operation, the motions allowed or to the directions of the load applied to the parts. In this video, I will go to show you different type of bearing and their application. There are at last six common type of bearing, each of which operation on different principles. Please click the subscribe button for more videos and press the bell icon get fast notifications. Plain bearings. Plain bearing are the simplest type of bearing and are composed of just the bearing surface with no rolling elements. They have a high load carrying capacity, are generally the last expensive and depending on the materials, have much longer life than other types. Plain bearing are several specific styles such as bushing, journal bearing, slave bearing, refill bearing, composite bearing. Rolling element bearing. Rolling element bearings in which rolling element placed between the turning and stationary races prevent sliding friction. There are two main types, ball bearing and roller bearing. Ball bearing are the extremely common because they can handle both radial and thrust loads but can only handle a small amount of weight. They are found in a wide array of applications such as roller blades and even hard drives. Roller bearings are designed to carry heavy loads. The primary roller is a cylinder, which means the load is distributed over the large area, enabling the bearing to handle large amount of weights. Jewel bearings Jewel bearings are plain bearings with a metal spindle that turns in a jewel-lined pivot hole. They carry loads by rolling the axle slightly off-center and are usually used in mechanical wards or cloaks. Fluid bearings Fluid bearings support their load using a thin layer of gas or liquid and can be classified into two types, fluid dynamic bearings and hydrostatic bearing. Fluid dynamic bearing used rotation to form the liquid into a lubrication waste against the inner surface. In hydrostatic bearing, the fluid usually while water or air relay on an external pump. Fluid bearing are used in high load, high speed, high precision applications. Magnetic bearings Magnetic bearings support moving parts without physical contact. Instance railing on magnetic field to carry the loads. They require continuous power input to keep the load stable. Thus, require a backup bearing in the case of power or control system failure. Flexor bearing A typical flexor bearing is one part of joining to others, like a hinge, in which motion is supported by a load element that bends. This bearing requires repeated bending. Dear viewers, thanks for watching the video. Any question write in the comment box. Don't forget to like and share. More update please subscribe our channel learning engineering and get notification to press the bell icon.